Wait, the bricks work today? Hold on, let me see this. I had my headphones off because I was talking to my mom. Let me... Book? Hey, Princey! What do you mean? What do you mean, book? Let me make sure the bricks are working. They are working! Wow, interesting. 90% <laughs> of the time they haven't worked, so that's good news. <laughs> oh, you said brick. Oh, oh, yeah, sorry. Fumble and stumble over my words sometimes. Alright. Who's ready for more Higurashi? Because I know I am, so I'm gonna go I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into it, bro. Hell yeah. It's Higurashin time. It's Golby Wolby. Golbin. The one and only. Kring. <laughs> oh, kita kita. Oh, hiyo, Rena. God damn it, we're back as Keichi again. Dude, I'm gonna lose my mind. Stop putting me as this motherfucker. <laughs> ケイチ君の方が早かったね。普段を棚にあげるわけじゃないが、俺が朝の待ち合わせでレナに勝つなんて珍しいこともあるもんだぜ。I <笑> Oh, all right. Lena, What's up, Gon? Lena, I didn't throw bits at Prinzy. For shame. Well, gotta do it next stream. Hell yeah. <laughs> 昨日の大騒ぎの余韻がずっと残っててさ。Wait, so did Keiji win the the ice cream eating contest or the sweets? Dude, I don't know what kind of contest it was. It was just eating a bunch of crap the fastest. I don't know. Time cup embarrassment. Uh, I don't know either. 布団に入っててもなかなか眠くならなくて夜が長く感じたぜ。Mochi, that's me. What's up, Gon? Yesterday, I had a lot of fun with my friends and went home still riding that high. But I was too sad to come to your last stream sometimes again. Aw. Well, there's no problem. That's no problem, Prinzy. It's never like, uh, what do you call it? An obligation to come to my streams. It I'm sorry you had a sad day, though. I hope you're feeling better today. But, yeah, don't don't feel guilty if you can't stop by. That's... I'm here for for y'all if you want to come and uh, want somebody to hang out with. I know, but I don't like when I was... Well, I don't like when you're sad either. I want you to be happy. <laughs> but, you know, sometimes we get sad. You can't help it. But, yeah. Pet Prinzy. Alright, alright. Here we go, Prinzy. Pet, 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 pet. <laughs> yosh, yosh. <laughs> <laughs> I was too full to eat dinner. I kept talking with my parents about the great time I had over the past few days. Thank you, no problem. I was so pumped up that I couldn't go to sleep. Kinda sounds like I'm a little kid. But, given that Reyna seemed to be the same way, I felt better about it. No... I felt better isn't the right way of phrasing it. I should say, I'm glad to know that we shared the same feeling. Reyna went treasure hunting after I left. I'm sure she found many adorable things and went home and talked with her parents about how great the day was. Well, yeah, th me and Prinzy are going to have a collab, most likely after um, uh, Higurashi. 
That's that. That's not a joke. We are collabing. <laughs> <laughs> おお、ミオンが先に待ってるなんて今日は雪が降るかもな。ふふふ。ふふふ。ふふふ。ふふふ。ふふふ。ふふふ。ふふふ。ふふふ。ふふふ。ふふふ。ふふふ。ふふふ
so so you it, it had to meet only one of those three criteria. Never heard of a snake fly. Is that like a? F <laughs> is that a is that a snake with the wings? Because <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty cool. Shinji <laughs> Tai. Neither of them are actual flies either. Are they are they actual snakes or owls? They're entirely their own group of insects. Are they snakes or owls? S since it has s they are not okay, I don't care about them then. <laughs> Yo, Tabletop, we play in Monopoly? Hold on. Chat, who all likes Monopoly? Everybody was early this morning. We could enjoy our walk to school for once. After a while, we started talking about the upcoming festival. They told me that the festival was called Watanagashi, and that it's the biggest event of the year in Hinimizawa. If I had friends to play with, maybe I would. I like to imagine we're friends, Prinzi. I don't have Monopoly, but if I did, I'd play it with you. <laughs> I like to imagine we're friends. <laughs> Look, we all like the idea of Monopoly, but when we're two hours in, barely scraping by as one person owns four-fifths of the properties, we all want it to end. <laughs> so, Golden, are you saying you wouldn't be up for joining a Monopoly on stream as one of the players? Is that what you're saying? What? <laughs> Yes, I have my attention. You can you keep it? <laughs> oh lord. Hey, are you saying I'm boring? <laughs> Rude. Although I guess you're not wrong. <laughs> I love the Paraponera ant and the brown huntsman spider. <laughs> I don't like spiders. I had to I had to kill one yesterday. <laughs> it was a crawling under my desk and I just I got my shoe and I just got it. <laughs> I don't know, they they give me the spooks. それでいろいろと話を聞いてみたら、他の親類も意外にケイちゃんのことを知ってる人が多いんだよね。Parapaneros are bullet ants. Kratos versus Applebee's steak. Who wins? <laughs> hmm. Well, who likes Applebee's? <laughs> Who's like, God damn, I'm such a fucking Applebee's fan. <laughs> so I'm going to have to go with Kratos on that. <laughs> I like that one because of an anime, the person who got powers from that spider and it was so epic. Oh, nice. Remember what the name of it was? I might have to check it out. Huntsmen are large spiders, like dinner plate large? Okay, yeah. He has the blades of chaos. Yeah, exactly. Terraform. Oh yeah, you mentioned that in, um... Ark's chat. I almost forgot who Ark was. <laughs> Man. I am so smart. Hinamizawa no meibutsu otoko mitai na iware yo datta yo. I think Keiichi's famous in Hinimizawa for all the wrong reasons. 
名物男ってのはまた微妙な称号だなその称号の9割方はミオンの罰ゲームに関係があるような気がするぞ<笑> <We said chat, basically. 笑>ケイジだなポケイジポーミー Poor me, where's my, where's my pity? <laughs> I'm kidding. So, did I get a naked or sa? Yo, wrong. Kratos would eat the steak with the boy, and they would die because the steak was cooked in the microwave. True. Oh my god. I like jelly beans. <laughs> I do like jelly beans. <laughs> Thank you, Prinzy. Thank you very much. <laughs> But no, soldier, you're actually kind of spitting. <laughs> What brought this up, soldier? Did you eat Applebee's recently <laughs> that gave you a microwave steak? No, I'm not sure. 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 I felt a bit embarrassed to know that people I haven't even met were speaking well of me. Then, eh, Congo no Watanagashi no Matsuri de Nanika de Katsakus to Kurenaika na at the Hanashiga de Tene. Uh oh. Kejan, Medasco to Kaski de Shaw. Kechi, probably not me. <laughs> I was just playing God of War and I needed something to say when I got here, so I just thought of the worst thing ever and Applebee's steak came to mind. Oi, 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 oi! Honey, who's I did? Cut the new Hanashi was smirna! I don't even remember the last time I've ever eaten at Applebee's. <laughs> I honestly can't even remember. What are Kodokto Sejaku Iser? Lonely guy does, eh? Keiji, that is not true. That is. No. <laughs> is it just me, or when Mion laughs, it sounds like that's like the last breath that she has? <laughs> or she's like having a coughing fit? <laughs> Like smokers longer or something. <laughs> She has an Obachan left. <laughs> Howdy, Mochi. Hey, Fuki. Hope everything's well today. Oh, wait. Applebee's doesn't even serve apples or bees. True. That's false advertising. <laughs> oh, shit. I almost forgot to shout out Princey. Oh no. Aha. Auto fill in text. Let's go. Guys, if you haven't followed、uh, Prinzy or Princessin yet, please go and drop her a follow. She is in the middle of a Grisaya playthrough. As I have said multiple times, you all know how much we love Grisaya. She's still in Common Root, so you still get to, if you follow her now, you'll still get to see a lot of those spicy reactions. Just today she reacted to the. <laughs> we love Grisaya, shut up, Golden. Just today we re she reacted to the, um. <laughs> uh, the Amane role in the Yuji's bed sheet scene, and that was. <laughs> oh man, that was great. <laughs> top, top tier scene, man. Lone boy, no matchy guy, did ya? What does that even mean, Mion? Lonely boy, more like lone boy. What does that mean? <laughs> I literally feel like the. What do you mean by that guy? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> そこまで財布事情に困ってねえし、レナも真に受けてそんな目で見るな。ミオン、are you on crack? 
<laughs> you, <laughs> you think all of Hinimizawa just shares the same crack pipe? <laughs> That's why everyone's so wild all the time. <laughs> He either owes people a lot of money, or they're saying he's easy he gets around, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, my day has been okay, other than the fact that I told him... That's just grounds to beat the shit out of him, Fuki. That's literally just grounds to just fucking fight him. Not only for, like being an asshole, but also for that awful pun. <laughs> I hated it. I mean, who wouldn't hate that? <laughs> it's just... Man. Was that an attempt at a flirt? I sure as fuck hope it wasn't. Because <laughs> that just sounds stupid. <laughs> I mean, I'm autistic too, and if somebody came up to me and said that, I'd be like, The, the fuck are you talking about? What? <laughs> to me, that just comes off as an insult. <laughs> yeah, I'm a flirty gal, but if someone said that to me, I'd be kind of uncomfortable. I'd be in a fighting mood. Like, you, ju you just gotta fight him at that point. You just gotta strangle him. <laughs> Disclaimer, Mochi does not promote violence. We really were still feeling the after effects of yesterday. Mian and I made a lot of noise, teasing each other on the way to school. Reyna watched us and laughed happily. Satoko and Rika-chan were already there when we arrived at school. They were also full of energy. Tomita-kun and Okamura-kun were too. From that, I could tell they also had a good time yesterday. Everybody has been having a good time, really. In Hinimizawa, everybody is happy. A statement that would soon age like milk. <laughs> you make me flustered. That's what we're here for. We gotta make Prinzi flustered. By... Showering her in compliments and love. Because that's what we do here on the Mochikuma VT Twitch.tv slash Mochikuma VT channel. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, my internet. Oh god. Oh, sorry, Fuki. Oh, yeah, sir. i Perfect mochi, thank you. Dostano Gaja, Kunik Psycho to eat us there. Then I knew a carrio Hinamizawa and Hikostekte, Subetega Shiawa Seninata Kimochi, Yokuwa Karu. Really? Because I feel like it has the opposite effect. Where it makes people unhappy and terrified for their life. <laughs> the lie detector determined that was a lie. We already know Reina's going through some stuff from her last subchapter. I've been binging Mori. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know if I would have fun binging a show like that. Just... <laughs> Reina just sees the world with rose-colored lenses, kind of. Poor girl. Yeah. She, she's going through some stuff. Boo-boo! 
Definitely made her character a lot more interesting after learn having learned all that, though, so... I'm glad we got to learn it. The sky was clear, and the few thin clouds were pure white. The cry of the cicadas was telling me that summer would be coming earlier than usual. Watanagashi is just around the corner. I'm sure we'll have great fun at the festival, too. <laughs> yeah. There will be more and more fun days to come. I'm sure of it. Summer is just around the corner. Oh, fun. <laughs> yeah, we're back as Raina. Let's go. The fucking AK team. <laughs> The last class of the day was finally over, meaning that it was time for club activities. I was sure it would be fun. I couldn't wait. But then Michon received a call and told us something had come up and she had to go. So we didn't have a club meeting today. Oh, Sag. I was really looking forward to it. There was nothing I could do. But I could at least chat with Keichikun on the way home. It'll be fun. <laughs> I Man, I've got to talk about it. How does Keichu look so normal? Like, that looks like a normal, fine kid. Like, I'd see him and I'd be like, you know, he's probably an upstanding lad. Probably does his duties as a teenager or something. Pro probably doesn't get up to anything weird. I'd, I'd, say, that, I'd say that's a generally okay kid. And then you read as him, and then it's like, man, <laughs> that's rough, buddy. <laughs> Stop petting Keiji, he doesn't deserve it. <laughs> Keiji-kun sometimes says mean things, but he's very funny. Debatable. <laughs> when I chat with him, my depression goes away. Wait, what did I just say? Am I... depressed? No. Oh. Pet Prin Yes, give Prinzi all the pets. <laughs> I have so much fun every day, and I'm as happy as I can be. What did I have to be depressed about? Well, it was obvious. Because of Rina-san, my father is happy now. Before he met her, he was like a lamp in broad daylight. Honestly, he was like the living dead. But after he met Rina-san, he started to smile like he used to when he was living with my mother. He enjoyed talking with her and started going out with her. You could probably say they went on dates. Now, he looks 10, no, 20 years younger. Rina-san gets along with my father very well, and she's very kind to me, too. So despite my day starting out terrible, I had fun at work, had fun with the cheetahs. What happened to your car, Golden? Like, like did, did someone, like, fuck it up? Or was that just nature? Like, what the hell happened? <laughs> There's actually no reason for me to hate her. I don't know, man. I park in a parking lot across the street specifically to avoid car accidents. His car, yeah, his car was like, was it just scratched up, Golden, or was it like, like banged and broken? But the bitter memories of my parents' divorce and my many regrets were gradually eating away at my heart. Pictures show pretty much everything. I didn't. Hold on, I didn't look too much. At it. Oh. That one door looks kind of fucked. Um. It, it, it at least looks like it still is functional as a car, but... It looks like it mainly just got scratched up for the most part. 
I, I still have no idea how that happened, though. I'm sorry that happened, Golden. Was it okay to accept that woman? Rina's son might be the same as... how Uncle Akihito turned out to be. Is she the enemy who takes my happiness away with her very existence? Yeah, it still functions. The major downer is going to be the paint job. Yeah. With or without bad intentions? Am I going to sit around until everything collapses again? It hurts. One day I woke up to my window being smashed. People just want to make others as miserable as they are. I'm sorry, go Yeah, people suck. To fix the panel is only going to be like uh, 75 to 125, but to fix the paint job is going to be like 800. So the, you said this was in a parking lot, so it was in like a public space, right? Like this didn't happen like near your house or anything, it just, it was in a public space, right? Am I going to sit around until everything collapses again? Should I fight the enemy before it's too late? Recreation center across the street where I live. Is there a way to, like, get access to camera footage so that way you could at least see the car, if there was a car that did it? Or, like, get a license plate or something? Park there so I don't park in the street specifically to avoid side swipes. There would be if the cameras weren't done because they're redoing the roofs. Oof. Well, that sucks. <sighs> eh. Sometimes people are just assholes, man. Sorry to hear it, though. I know you don't deserve it. Nobody really deserves it, but especially not you. Hopefully it doesn't come too expensive for the repairs. And they give you, like, a cheaper option, maybe. Who knows? Rina-san comes to my house a little too... obviously. Since my father started letting her stay the night, many of her belongings have turned up in the house. I'm gonna see if I can contact an old high school friend who works on cars now. Hopefully that works out. My father and I don't smoke, but there's an ashtray in the living room. The futon in our guest room is hers now. In the bathroom, there's a toothbrush. And shampoo I'd never choose to buy. I started to feel awkward about those things. And that's when I started noticing it at the front door. When I came home from school. Her perfume. I asked my father once if he was thinking about getting married to Rina-san. He looked a little embarrassed, perplexed, and confused. He told me, not yet. Uh-oh. He's thinking about it, though. He's thinking about it. I hope she doesn't hurt Rina. Yeah, no, Rina, Rina's not really done anything bad yet. I almost thought, I don't know if you were here for it, for, wait, I think you were here. I, I thought Ark spoiled me on her, like, possibly being Reyna's mother, but apparently that wasn't the case and Ark was just confused, but I, I would have been so upset. <laughs> <laughs> but Higurashi po possesses demon, true, true. Uh... Well, so far, Rina is best girl, so, and Higurashi at least. So, hopefully she'll be okay. He knew I was hurt by the divorce. Pet only one person in chat. That's probably why he couldn't admit that he wanted to marry. That's why he said, not yet. He'd consider it, but not while I was still living with him. That's what he meant, I guess. There's only one reason why I don't want him to get remarried to Rina-san. I feel offended that my sanctum, my family, is being invaded. Might be being selfish, though. I know keeping my father all to myself means... 
keeping him miserable like he was before he met Rina-san. He has a life to live, too. It's his right to heal from the pain from the divorce and to live. To find his new love. He wouldn't have had to go through that painful life if I'd prevented the divorce from happening in the first place. He has a right to be happy. He has a right to a happy new life that lets him forget the pain he never deserved. And I don't have any right to stop him. In fact, I have an obligation to try to return his happiness to him. I have to pay for my sin. My inability to prevent his divorce. Then what should I do to make us both happy? It wouldn't be that difficult. All I'd need to do was to give my silent approval of their relationship. My father tells me he won't get remarried while we live together. That means I should stop leaning on my family, be strong, and live on my own as soon as I can. Although, that doesn't mean I can tell him not to go out with her until that day. I kind of relate to Reyna, because I've been through a situation like hers. With uh, me and my mom. The best advice I would say is to just... Trust, trust your parents' ability to decide who they love for themselves. They know themselves better than you ever will. And if they're happy, that's all that matters. Because in the future, when you move out, it won't even really affect you that much. And who knows, that person may be uh, a person that you were ex happy that you invited into your life. I never understood blaming yourself for your parents splitting, but my parents were awful, so it was relieving when they actually s separated. Yeah, I, I hate that. When, um, well, the reason most of the time why that happens, Prinzy, is because the parents that separated... Sometimes they blame the child, so they the child gets that thought in their head that it was their fault to begin with. When really it's not. They get, they're adults. They should be able to work out their differences. And even if it... It, it, it sucks because no matter... You can't control the child's thought process. At the end of the day, if the child thinks it's their fault, that they're, they're going to think it's their fault. More head pets for chat to feel better. <laughs> Give them all the head pets. Although that doesn't mean I can tell him not to go out with her until that day. Rina-san comes to our house to see him despite her busy schedule. And she even stays the night whenever her shift permits. They're adults. I have no right to say anything against that. That's why... That's why I chose to give my silent approval to their relationship and tried to see her as little as I could. I get along with Arena-san on the surface. I know my father would have a hard time keeping face if we didn't. But it's a very exhausting and painful thing to get along with a person I don't really like. So, whenever Arena-san comes over, I spend as much time as possible outside, then head home late. Oh, that's why she sometimes goes and hangs out at the trash pile with the in the car. Oh, that sucks. Oh, I hate that. Oh, God, Raina. That's why you gotta communicate. You gotta communicate. You gotta let you gotta let him let your dad know how you feel. Gotta communicate. Communication is important. Mitan's club's activities are the most convenient things to do to kill time. But there are some days we don't have a club meeting. Her name's not Komi, so I know she can communicate. Yeah! <laughs> but I'm... <t> <laughs> On those days, I while away my time at the garbage dump hunting for treasure alone. And that's how I started to make my secret hideout. My father can do whatever he wants with Rena-san at home. 
I don't have to see them together. I can spend my time peacefully at my hideout. I sometimes feel depressed about my life. No. As someone that has de a major depression himself, this this stri this strikes deep for me. <sighs> Man. I sometimes want to talk to somebody about it. But nothing will change. Even if I talk to somebody. This is all I can really do. The most important thing for me should be to overcome the sadness of losing my family as fast as I could. And to regain my own happiness. I have so much I fun in here. Oh, thank you, Fritzy. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. I just it's it it does it it does strike chords for me. <laughs> oh, shut up, Golden. <laughs> I have so much fun every day. I'm happy every day. I love you. Don't. <laughs> Even on the way home, Keichikun was talking about funny things that made me laugh. Okay, I'll shut up. <laughs> I'm feeling gloomy in spite of... That was kind of rude. Marina, you can't help how you feel. <laughs> My father should be happy. I should be happy. I just feel sad because I still can't separate from my father. Compared to the unexpectedness of the divorce, Rina-san's invasion is a very slow process. I think Rina-san understands how I feel. Feelings are big old bacas. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they are. <laughs> She treats me very kindly, but she doesn't do more than that. I think she understands that I'd feel uncomfortable if she did. I respect Rika-chan because she's strong even without her parents. Yeah, and she also might be an assassin, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't envy Rika that much. <laughs> Compared to the pain of losing both her parents unexpectedly, my problem is like nothing. I respect Satoko-chan's toughness, too. She also lost her parents and was forced to live a painful life under her uncle and aunt. Compared to the cruel treatment she had to go through, my relationship with Arena-san is a blessed one. I keep feeling anxious, but that's just because I'm still immature, and because I feel like I'm not ready to separate from my father. I have to be strong like Rika-chan and Satoko-chan. I have to try my best to be happy. I'm going to live with all my might in order to regain the peace of mind that I lost that day. My assumption that I'm not happy is just a mistake. I should appreciate the wonderful days I spend with my wonderful friends. Just by realizing that I'm happy, the world shines so brightly. Does anyone else get like major Sayori vibes from Reina, kind of? Omochikari? <laughs> yes, yeah, I thought so. Yare, <laughs> yare. レナは毎日を楽しく過ごすことに関しては達人だな。レナは毎日が楽しいよ。こんなにも素敵な友人たちに囲まれて過ごす。こんなにも素晴らしい日々があって、どうして不幸が感じられる？It's a bad thought process to have, Rena. <laughs> フォーなんかここにはないよ。いや、ないフォロワーズ。<笑><笑> 
Yeah, no, it goes for everybody. Like, may I have my demons. Soldier has his demons. Golden has his demons. And obviously, you have your demons, Prinzy. It's just... It's something we've got to deal with and... Um... M just learn to live with. And how to best, like live in harmony with those feelings because it's not good to just ignore them or squash them out it's to how to live and work together with them because feelings are not a bad thing to have that's that's a part of you and all every part of you is valid remember that chat yeah but what i mean is from my experience most people most depressed people hide it well yeah like, like a... Make squash pie emoji. I have 55 somehow. Oh, nice, soldier. Shows... With... The... Robin Williams, the man who voiced uh, Genie, he was also depressed. And most people wouldn't have thought that. And it's not really that hard of... A, a riddle to find out if you're sad and you're not like a shitty person you obviously don't want to make others sad we people with depression like me or or you frenzy or anybody else that might have depression we might just be like well just kind of hide it and just act like a normal person so we can make others happy and for the most part, that does work. But at the same time, we've got to realize that we are valid about who we are and to just make sure that we think about ourselves time to time, too. That we also matter. I know it's hard, but that's that's the truth. That's the truth. He's getting mushy. Someone stop him. That's not getting mushy. That's just that's just real life, man. He should have stopped right there. But he just kept going. Making the mother of all omelets. The mother of all omelets. <laughs> I don't want to see anyone continue to defend Keiji. Not one person. I feel right. I don't like that. <laughs> Dude, that's straight up just an insult. <laughs> Who was defending Keiji, true? <laughs> Does Keiichi know about anything Reina is going through here? Genuine question. Well, no, but that doesn't mean you could just call them an idiot. <laughs> yeah, because he is. I think it was more a reference to blind optimism. We, that, you still shouldn't just assume that about somebody. Kana? I have a handful of friends that are dense like Keiichi. Yeah, it's it's rough. It really is. People that just like, even though you're friends, they assume that they know everything about you. They know about your whole personality. They know about everything you like. It's it's very annoying. If they're dense, they won't echo. <laughs> God damn it, Golden. <laughs> I don't have any worries. I feel like I do, but that's just because I'm immature and still want my father's attention. Come on. Say the magical words. It'll cheer you up. Huh? Huh? It didn't make sense to say it now, but I was going to say it anyway. Because this is my magical phrase that always cheers me up. Well, 
Wait, no. <laughs> なんだよ突然でもそれでこそレナだぜ Dude, fuck k a i c h i I hate this motherfucker. <laughs> At the, I'm gonna have like a whole compilation. If I don't make it, someone is gonna like go through my VODs and like make a whole compilation of like Mochi talking about how fucking much he hates k a i c h i How long would that video be? <laughs> That had to be like at least 10 minutes long. I'm not trying to defend k a i c h i but I wonder if he genuinely thinks he's been helpful, but is just oblivious otherwise. Counter emoji saying he dislikes k a i c h i I don't know. I, I don't know, Golden. I, I just think he's stupid. <laughs> Like, uh, it's, it's just like, only, it's to the point of just, I don't care about you or your feelings. This is my opinion of you. <laughs> That's right. This is me, Reyna. I'm not Reyna. Reyna still wants her parents' attention. Reyna is a goofy and carefree girl. She knows that every day is full of happiness. And she has the kind of heart to appreciate it, too. I should forget about icky things. I should live a wonderful life free of anything icky. No, Reyna. No! Icky starts with I. And that's why I got rid of the I in Reyna. Oh, I see. Like I said, I do have a handful of friends that just say the wrong things all the time. And I think they're just. I don't know, they're just them, I guess. And it, like, it hurts. It hurts because it's like, at, at times it'll be like, that's not who I am and that's not who I've ever tried to be. <laughs> But they just say it as if it's a fact. I understand, f r e n d y that, that shit hurts and I'm sorry that you had to go through that. I'm Reyna. I'm going to recapture the happiness I lost when I left Tini Mizawa. I will overcome any pain and hardship. I can be happy. Because I got rid of I. icky things. I'm sure there are only incredible things waiting for me. Oh. Incredible starts with I too. See? And when you go to those extreme thoughts, you start to ignore, like, common sense. Uh, kind of like, because it's like, yeah, uh, well, Icky starts with I, so I should remove Reyna. But, wait, incredible, that's a positive phrase, that also starts with I. But she's already got it in her mind that, well, if it's bad, then I don't need it. It's, it's, a, bad, it's a bad thought press to go down. I've went down it a couple of times, especially when I was younger. And it's just, it's hard, man. But you've, you've got, you, it's, like, it's like I say, you've got to learn how to live with your demons. You can't just squash them or pretend they don't exist. <laughs> I was almost home, and when my house appeared, I noticed something different there. There was a truck parked in front of my house. There was nothing on the back of it, but I can tell it brought something here because I saw some cardboard boxes, blankets, and ropes on the ground. She on him, priest. The demon. Listen, we don't. We don't talk about she on him. <laughs> she, she took that a little too literally. <laughs> From the front of the house, I heard voices of two young men saying, Well, we'll be going now. They passed me by as I walked towards the front door. They were wearing some kind of work uniforms. They looked like delivery people. We don't talk about s h i o n no, no, no. We don't talk about s h i o n <laughs> My father was about to close the door when he noticed me. Tada ima! Nani ko o t t a no? Okay, Reyna. 
What is that majestic ass voice? Mite Goran, Suoizo. What is that majestic ass voice? <laughs> My father looked to be in a good mood. The Monka. <laughs> I didn't know why he was, but whenever he smiled like that, I just wanted to smile back at him. His eyes used to look like those of a dead fish no matter how hard I tried to smile at him. <laughs> but these days, he could put on a big smile just to surprise me. He has been literally coming back to life since a year ago when we moved back to Hinimizawa. No, since he started dating Rina-san. When I see him smile like this, I'm happy. But at the same time, I feel confused because I don't know whether I should thank Rina-san or not. Hora, <laughs> sugoi daro! Sounds so majestic. He took me to the living room. He was probably expecting me to go all, ooh, and ah. So, whether there was something in the living room or not, I was ready to go, ooh, and ah, for him. I tried to sound excited and surprised. He was standing behind me probably smiling with satisfaction at hearing my excited voice. I, on the other hand, was desperately trying to understand what was going on. For a moment, I thought I was in someone else's house. You see, the living room had been completely redecorated. The furniture we had was all basically from the former house in Ibaraki. Parents brought, bought most of the furniture when they got married, so it was all old and a little dirty. Some of them still had crayon scribbles I drew when I was very little. But all of that was gone. Everything in the living room had been turned had turned into a pastel color, looking very sophisticated, like the rooms you'd see in soap operas. Look up black rain frog frog? Alright. <laughs> Wait, who's that? Oh, hey, Fuki. Black ring frog. <laughs> Why is he so mad? <laughs> he looks so upset. <laughs> The new carpet looked very tropical. The new curtains matched with the carpet. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna make. No, I'm not gonna make that joke. <laughs> the new sofa looked very expensive. Gwumpy Fuego. <laughs> No horn moods. <laughs> the living room in general looked like a resort hotel. The channel switcher of our old TV was broken. We used to have pliers to change channels, but it was gone too, replaced by a new one with a big screen. The room's lights had also been replaced by nicer looking ones. The living room looked like a totally different world under the new fluorescent lights. すごいね、お父さん。これはどうしたの？新規一転さ。もう引っ越してきて一年にもなるんだから、お父さんもそろそろ気分を切り替えて新しい生活に踏み出さないとなって思ったんだよ。I feel like he should have at least like. Asked her, <laughs> like, "Hey, Reina, do you think it would be okay if I like redecorated the whole house and threw out a lot of the old furniture, or are you like attached to that stuff?" 
Like, let me know what you think. No, he just went and did it. <laughs> I was like, surprise! Like, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like he should have asked her. <laughs> like, she was probably really attached to a lot of that old stuff. I suggested redecorating the house once in order to cheer him up because he was still in pain after the divorce. Oh, okay. But he wasn't interested at the time. He didn't want to get rid of the old furniture he had chosen with my mother because he still couldn't get over her even though she cruelly broke up with him. I wanted to suggest it again when the time was right. I never thought he'd do it on his own initiative. Maybe this is why Grano likes Keiichi. He's dense like her papa. <laughs> true, true. Oh no. Are we are we getting into daddy issues territory? Oh no. Oh no. So <laughs> Daddy issues. Daddy? Sorry. Daddy? Sorry. <laughs> Golden, no one is calling you that. Literally no one. And I know that for a fact. Liars go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> Liars go to super hell. <laughs> yeah, you don't know what my GF calls me. And I, and I, you know, go on, I can go through life without knowing what she calls you. <laughs> and I would like to go through life without knowing what she calls you. <laughs> There's It hurts because you know she's faking it too. She calls me Torkin nerd. See, those are acceptable because those are true. <laughs><笑> Golden likes Steppy's gross relationships. <laughs> <laughs> My father explained the details of his redecoration proudly. He told me that he only did the living room this time, but he's going to redecorate all the rooms. He sure had become more active. There are some parts about the redecoration I didn't like. But I still thought it was great because it made him happy. No, no. I'm guilty of this too. I'm guilty of this too. Reyna's a real people pleaser. Oh no. You gotta think about yourself, Reyna. You have to think about you and your needs. Communicate. <laughs> Another such. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I found the old furniture outside in the yard. あれは捨てちゃうの。まあ、この際だと思ってな。後で業者が引き取りに来てくれることになってる。Getting rid of the old furniture means putting an end to my mother. I hated the furniture because it smelled like my mother. And I tried to break everything once. God, God damn, Rena. <laughs> I understand why my father wants to take this opportunity to get rid of them. But for some reason, this new living room makes me feel like I no longer belonged here. No. Man, this is sad. <laughs> My father didn't choose the new furniture. Rina san Fuki did. God damn it, Fuki. <laughs> Most likely, 
My father and Rina-san decided to redecorate the living room and went to a furniture store to buy everything. I tried to think positively. The reason why my father didn't tell me about the redecoration was because he wanted to surprise me. No, my father never really considers things that deeply. So, I suppose he didn't tell me because he just didn't think he needed to tell me. I'm sure he didn't redecorate the living room to make me feel like I was no longer welcome. Don't be negative, Reyna. Just talk about it, Reyna! Just talk about how you feel! That'll clear up the misunderstandings, Reyna. It hurts so much because I know what she's going through. <laughs> I feel like... Where do I sign the adoption papers for Reyna? <laughs> like, I just... I, I want to be protective like Reyna. <laughs> she's Reyna Princessin now. <laughs> My father didn't have any bad intentions. He doesn't want to get rid of me. He doesn't think I'm the reason he can't get remarried. Wait, no, I want to adopt. And yet... Why did I feel sad? Looking at the old furniture in the yard... Why did I feel like I didn't belong? Reyna! I realized the reason right away. That reason was... me. Reyna! To him, wanting to have a fresh start by getting rid of the things that remind him of my mother might be an indication of his unconscious desire to get rid of her daughter. Reyna! <laughs> Y'all can have her, I guess. Understandable, Fuki. Understandable. Remember, always put you before anything else. Or anyone else. Where do I sign the adoption papers for Fuki? God damn it, Golden. My father doesn't really consider things deeply, so he might not be thinking that I'm the reason he can't get remarried. But he understands that he can't get remar remarried while we live together. But staying with him, I'm torturing my father. Reyna! It was my fault that he had to get a divorce. Reyna! Reyna! <laughs> No. Fuki can have her on their free days while we'll co parent. <laughs> That's why I have to support him to help recapture his happiness. I couldn't just keep him all to myself. I'd have to start thinking about living on my own. You're like 15, Reyna. Come on, man. I don't need to go to my university. I should think about getting a job. No! <laughs> but who would hire an uneducated girl like me? Even if somebody did hire me, I wouldn't be able to earn enough money to live on my own. Maybe I should think about working at a hostess club. Like Rina-san does. Rina! People only choose the jobs they can. A girl like me doesn't have a lot of choices. Not a lot of companies would hire me or pay the amount of money that I need to live on my own. You're 15, Reyna! I'm the one... I'm the one my oldest niece calls when she's pissed at her mom. <laughs> but... Come to think of it, where is the place where I belong? Whenever I end up feeling like this, I miss my secret hideout in the trash piles. I love to get under my blanket and feel the warmth on a cold night. Rena's a hostess? Why does she like Rena's dad? Is she gold digging off of him? <laughs> I'm not really sure what a hostess implies. Is she like... Uh... Is she like a, a sex worker or like... What? Or is she just like 
I, I don't know what a hostess implies, to be honest. Let me give you a hint, alright? Oh my god, Golden. <laughs> They're like a waitress, but they give you like the GF experience. Oh, I see. But it's like all professionally. I don't... I, listen, I am very... I get very pissed off when people say that, like, people that have, like, OnlyFans or, like, they have, like, sex work that they're like, Oh my god, you can't have a- you can't be in a relationship. You're- you're offering yourself to everybody. That's, first of all, that's fucking rude. <laughs> that's extremely rude. Second of all, people can do what they want with their life. Sex work is legitimate work. Oh, jeez, son of my OnlyFans. No. <laughs> to get under my blanket and feel the warmth on a cold night. I mean, I just don't trust Rena because this is Higurashi and bad stuff happens true. <laughs> you're completely... I will... <laughs> you're right on that, Prince. <laughs> and I mean, Rena could just be gold digging off him and playing, playing him. You're totally right. So I could see her as a gold digger because in this game a lot of people are bad. Yeah. Mochi not supporting my OnlyFans. Be your girlfriend to support it, bro. It's not my job. <laughs> I love to get under my blanket and feel the warmth on a cold night. The hideout gets hot and humid during the day and very cold at night. It's not a comfortable place to spend time in. But it might be the place where I can relax the most. More than I can at my house. No. I shouldn't think like this. But I post pictures of fans. Well, you didn't say that. <laughs> I shouldn't think that my house has been invaded by Rina-san. I should thank her for making my father happy. Rina-san isn't trying to kick me out of the house. She's trying to get along with me. But I'm not opening my heart to her. Rotary fans, ceiling fans, industrial fans. You gotta give love to Japanese folding fans too, true. I'm the bad one. I'm the bad one. No, you're not, Reina. And I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Satoshi-kun and his aunt didn't get along at all. And she abused him for a long time. Compared to him, my situation is a lot easier. That doesn't mean you don't go through shit, too. <laughs> Satoko-chan and Rika-chan lost their parents, and they live together now. They've been through very hard times. On the other hand, I still live with my father. I should feel blessed. It's, listen, it's okay to be thankful for things that you have that other people don't, but that doesn't mean you should then downplay your emotions for it. Like, oh, well, it doesn't matter because I'm not starving. <laughs> like, come on, man. I shouldn't think I'm unhappy just because of these things. I am happy. If you have to tell yourself you're happy, you're, you're probably not happy. I'm blessed. The trouble with me is that I still can't admit that I'm happy. My father kept talking proudly about the redecoration. I nodded at him with a big smile and let him keep at it. Again, where do I sign the adoption papers? <laughs> what kind of vibes are we getting from Reina's dad? I don't think Reina's dad is... Well, actually, Reina's dad is a bad person. Because he, he hit her in, when he, uh, he hit her in response to him lashing out at his own feelings. And also, he's just not asking... Because at the end of the day, the dad should be asking the daughter, like, not the dad, the parents should be asking the child, like, their child, how they feel. <laughs> like, at the end of the day, that's entirely on the adult's responsibility. Yes, when, now that Rain is a teenager, she should be able to talk about her emotions, too. How do you feel, Mochi? I don't know, I kind of hate this guy so far. I already hate him because he hit her, and no, no parent should ever hit their child for any reason whatsoever. That is absolutely inexcusable. 
I don't care what your excuse is. Reina, I don't know he hit her. He only hit her once. But it was when, um, basically, Prinzi, I don't know if you remember, but, um, fuck, I can't think. When, uh, he was getting the divorce papers from his wife and everything, he basically asked Reyna, did you know about the guy she was hanging out with? And then Reyna said yeah, and he immediately hit her. I mean, what if the kid is trying to unalive you? Golden, that's an entirely different situation. <laughs> and you know that. お父さんな。ジャケットを2着ほど洋服屋さんに取り寄せさせてるんだ。それがな、今日届くらしいんだ。Bro, that happened to me kind of IRL, so spooky. Yeah, yeah. It, it was only once, but he still hit her. Like, in an abusive fashion. There isn't an excuse for that. He is an adult. I don't care if he just got divorced. <laughs> You're an adult. You don't... You don't lash out at a child. I feel like everybody in chat can agree with that. Or, or I hope they can. I, I really hope they can. ちょっとお父さんは回収業者さんを手伝わなきゃならないから、レーナが代わりに取ってきてくれないか? <laughs> pet frenzy? Yeah, always pet frenzy. We always we stay pet and frenzy. Petto, petto, petto. <laughs> oh. Oh. Don't mind Golden, he's a tsundere. <laughs> if I do have kids, I don't want to hurt them. Right. Like... Spanking is... Uh, I don't know. That's, that's like... That's a whole can of worms I don't want to open. But directly hitting them on, like, their face and something like that? No. No, that's... That's awful. That's inexcusable. No matter what they look like, I'm sure Rina-san picked them out for him. Although I don't mind going, I'd rather go to the store than listen to his stories about the redecoration of our living room. I got the receipt, asked him where the store is, changed my clothes, and left the house. I started pedaling my bicycle and looked at the old furniture in the yard for the last time. They used to be the object of my hatred, but for some reason, they now made me feel sen sentimental. Is it because I still regret the loss of my mother, even though I hate her? I couldn't let poisonous emotions take over my heart. I understood that in my mind, but I just couldn't get rid of that feeling. The old furniture wasn't the only stuff that was kicked out of the house. There was also a lot of junk that I brought home with from that landfill. My father was probably going to throw that away too. Oh, uh, hell no. Uh, no. If that's not like a part of... The old stuff that reminds of him of his wife, then he has no right to throw that out. <laughs> he doesn't like the junk I collect. He'll probably let the delivery company take it all together with the old furniture. She should save something small and keep it in her room. Yeah. Or just communicate. Tell him, uh, no, you're not taking my stuff. <laughs> Just like an animal that rubs its scent on its home in order to feel secure. I collected all the junk in order to make sure that I could stay here. No, that's not it. I wanted to bring them to my house because they were abandoned by their former owners. Can she, theoretically speaking, slap the dead? You know, theoretically speaking. 
hypothetically, could she, uh, I don't know, maybe beat the shit out of her father? <laughs> and they needed a place to live. Hope y'all liked my Ben Shapiro. <laughs> hypothetically speaking, uh, Reyna's father is kind of, uh, in, in a theoretical sense, uh, a piece of shit. <laughs> Very well done. <laughs> slap for a slap. <laughs> the store where my father ordered the jackets from is a fancy boutique. It's hard to believe my father would shop at a store like this on his own. I could tell right away that Rena san took him here. I handed over his receipt to the cashier. A short time later, the store manager came out wearing a perplexed, perplexed look. Ryugu-sama, taihen moushiake gozaimasen. Jitsu wa, nyuka no toraku ga kousoku de jiko jiutai ni makikomare teiru yo de gozaimashite. Oof! Osoraku wa mojiki tochak suru to omou no desu ga. He said that the driver called a while ago, told him he just got off the highway and would be here in about an hour. I didn't need to know all the details, but he explained them to me anyway. I asked him if I should come back tomorrow. He insisted that I should wait because the truck would be coming shortly, and he urged me to take a seat on their sofa. But I didn't really feel comfortable waiting there, so I told him I'd be back soon and left the store. I wondered if there are any fast food restaurants nearby. By the way, I've heard that, like, fast food in like Japan or something like McDonald's is actually really good because they have higher like health code standards for their food. They actually make sure the food is edible to a certain degree. I don't know if that's true, but that's what I've heard. I might have to go all the way back to the station. I looked around and found a coffee house. The glass in the door was black, so I couldn't see inside. But there was a poster saying the price for a cup of tea is lower than normal for women on weekdays. Ooh, ladies discount. Get it, queen. <laughs> get that shit. I'd just be going to get a cup of tea to kill some time. It should be okay. Whoa. <laughs> Golden what? <laughs> the fuck are you on about? Cause this is ladies' night, and I'm feeling right. Hell yeah, Frenzy! <laughs> Where's my discounted tea? I don't know. Fucking wait till boys' night, man. I don't know. It's ladies' night. <laughs> no need to make it a sexist issue. <laughs> but still, I hesitated to go inside before opening the door. The first impression of the coffee house was the smell of cigarettes. Oh wait, oh wait, no, I'm not talking as Raina, fuck. <laughs> the first impression of the coffee house was the smell of cigarettes. Tis a joke, Oh, okay. It's normal for coffee hours to be filled with cigarette smoke. It's like a requirement. But Raina still regretted her decision. While she was thinking about leaving, the proprietor spoke to her brusquely and showed her a table. Reina gave the I gave up on the idea of leaving and sat down. The atmosphere in the shop was far from a clean, normal coffee house where you would simply go to enjoy coffee and cigarettes. It was more like a place where vulgar people would hang around. Reina didn't feel comfortable at all, but what bothered her most was the laughter of a man and woman sitting together in the very back of the shop. Her table was behind a planter, so, depending on how one looked at it, one could say she was in the spot most protected from their laughter. Sick of wats. <laughs> hey kids, don't smoke. That's that's official from Mochi. Don't don't smoke and don't do drugs and don't do uh, the alcohol. And this message was proved by Mochi. <laughs> gotta, gotta be pure. Gotta be pure beans. 
Burns wouldn't make smoke. No. <laughs> no smoke at all. <laughs> Poor shame, Golden. What would Smokey say if he were here right now? Raina looked... No, the fuck? Dude, I keep getting confused. But Raina looked as, as though she wanted to leave as soon as she finished her tea. But Mochi funny, breaking bad. God damn it, soldier. I put it out. Only you can prevent forest fires, truly. The bell hanging from the entrance door rang, letting her know a customer just came in. It was a little surprising for her that a coffee shop like this could draw in so many customers. Raina peeked at the newcomers from behind the planter. There were two of them. They looked like vulgar men, the kind of people you didn't want to get involved with the instant you saw them. Makes aspirin. <laughs> The proprietor tried to show them to a table, but they ignored him and walked towards the back. Add another goddammit soldier to the tally. <laughs> you have a tally? <laughs> Pours alcohol. <laughs> Ionic solution for chemistry. Time to make that money, Rena. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Oh, oh, I got so confused there. They walked up to the couple who had been laughing loudly and greeted them with a bow. No. <laughs> I do know how to actually make aspirin, too. Wait, what is aspirin? I, for I forget what aspirin does. <laughs> oh. Oh, no, it's this guy. It's Satoko's shitty uncle. Ugh. Ugh. He was literally our first chem lab in college. The couple stopped laughing and the man told the newcomers to sit down in a threatening tone of voice. Get shotgun and cocks it. As instructed, the two of them took a seat. The two of them looked at each other before they took, each took an envelope out of their pockets and put it on the table. The man roughly grabbed the two employees and tore one of them open. Inside, there were many wrinkled 10,000 yen bills bound into a bundle with a rubber band. Though the username of the re zero author is Tepe? Oh no. Oh no! That means he's sus. <laughs> Sussy! <laughs> he opened the other one to make sure it also had cash in it and then threw it to the woman. Oi, Kazuni. Chotto, Atasini made a snide creature. Oh no! Wait. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Some some fucking nerves just fired off in my head. Oh no, I just awoke. Is the woman that Tepe left Hinimizawa with for was that Rena? Oh, oh no. No, no, no. No, she's a two timer. No. Motomoto, atashi no kane nan da kara. She's a two time environment. God dang it. Jagamashi. Damatte kazu en na en ne. Kaude. You did call it, Frenzy. You did call it. The man yelled at the woman. She licked her thumb, looking annoyed, and started counting the cash expertly. The two newcomers hung their heads while she counted. Bro, these ads, I swear, I gotta stop buying Yu-Gi-Oh cards, so I don't gotta watch Halo Infinite X Trolley? <laughs> what kind of ads did they be playing on my shit, bro? <laughs> Lighting a cigarette, the man waited for her to finish counting. 
はいよ全部あるわよ The woman said that after flicking through the last bill. The newcomers looked relieved. The man, however, didn't look satisfied as he stared at the bundle of the bills the woman was holding. Let's go. Where are you going to go? Hmm? I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. 私が貸した金全部だって言ってるでしょ<笑> Have you heard of the high elves? <笑> Actual oblivion in PC conversation <笑>バゲが DC はついとるか聞いとるんねん The man and Ritsuku yelled at each other Even though they were making all that noise the other customers acted like they didn't hear anything おい兄さん方200万ビッタンコキャないねどういうこっちゃ Stop right there, criminal scum <laughs> You violated the law Your stolen goods are forfeit <laughs> The two of them were trying to find some excuses to make It seems like this behavior touched the man's nerves as he started looking furious His angry voice echoed through the shop. He hit the table hard and dropped a glass on the floor. The noise thickened the tension in the atmosphere. The two newcomers must have been in an extremely vulnerable position. They bowed so deeply that their foreheads almost touched the table. Well, now my oblivion interest is back. Time to install it, then play it for 10 days straight. <laughs> Do you still have that character that, I, that uh, you made when uh, I was watching you, soldier? While you could pity them, the newcomers looked as vulgar as the man threatening them, making it hard to decide whether you should feel sorry for them or not. Yes, I have to scroll very far down, but I still have him. Let's go. What was his name again? I forgot. What, what did we name him? After a while, Ritsuko opened her mouth as if to offer them help. Man, I can't. I think it was Chad something else, something like that. Chad wants to see Mochi play a Wii Sports Resort. Probably not going to happen. One, because I don't want to. Two, because I don't have a Wii. Goodbye, <laughs> man. I can't stay mad at Rena, even though I know she's a two time environment. Look at her. Ah, oh, man. I got something wrong with me. <laughs> If I gave you a Wii, would you play it? No. <laughs> if I gave you a Wii, you would... Dude... <laughs> Don't just give me stuff because you want to see me play something. <laughs> I'm immune to her womanly wiles. Spritz her with a spray bottle full of water. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh. Mommy? So. God damn it. <laughs> I 
I tried, man. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> the man pulled Ritsuko roughly into his arms and frantically kissed her lips without caring about the other customers. The kiss wasn't like the lovely ones that normal couples would share. It looked obscene instead. It's like one of those... <laughs> it's like one of those kisses where they look like they're trying to eat each other. <laughs> like xenomorphs. <laughs> He let her lips go to take a breath, kissed them again, and repeated that for a while. After a while, he finally got bored of kissing and let her go. Oh, Memes! Oh, the DNA of the soul! Damn it, Sid. I feel awful for Reyna, yeah. Cause she's seeing this, right? Because she just went into this coffee shop. Oh, that's... <laughs> I keep... I, I, I keep using the Zuko meme, but it... But it, it, it applies, man. That, that's rough, buddy. うちの人は私のことになるとすぐ頭に血が上っちゃうのよね。困ったもんなのよ。ああ、そうよ。こいつと俺は言えば一心同体ね。It's very weird to say, Tepe. I'm gonna be real honest with you. <laughs> この女にドロンノリ腐るやつは俺に塗ったんと同じやんな。血祭りじゃすまんねえ。いつぞやかのほらあいつ。こうやってボイスがあるべきかい。ちょちょちょちょ。ミュージックファイルチェンジ。あ、フィルドファイナンス。オッケー。あれ、表連れてってからどうしたんだったっけ? <笑> やろうからてやるとか抜かしおるからどの程度か思うたんちょっと芝居たらすぐ土下座やん表紙抜けしたからズボン脱がせてそいつでこの表の歩道を磨かせてやったわうぅ<笑><笑><笑><笑> Man, come on, man. Rena, you can do so much better, man. Come on, no. Dude, this guy sucks. <laughs> She's into them crazy eyes, I think. You know what? You know what? That's fair. I ain't gonna shame Rena for her. For her kinks and fetishes. We're, we're all positive here, right? <laughs> I ain't gonna shame her for what she's into. He's so gross. Sometimes. <laughs> I started laughing loudly like they were doing earlier. Get a better fit before you get a reward. <laughs> The laughter obviously intimidated their companions. She seems like a jerk, honestly, and it seems like men that are violent. She likes men that are violent and intimidating. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting those vibes too. Just, just awful people, both of them. But let me remind you what a remake model looks like. <sighs> Man, I can't. <laughs> Man, I can't stay mad at her. <laughs> Wait, fuck. There we go. <laughs> Pokes chat. my head! Sit my head! Mm 
Ah. She has the Joe Star birth. <laughs> That's like the second time someone's made that joke. <laughs> And that's the, and this will be the second time I say no. It's not the Joe Star birthmark because it's not on her deck. Nishiya, wasreta chuta kote. Katchi ni kizuma ni gaku o soreta nda kya. Kanshin sana. She's beautiful, but personality overlooks. True, true. Wait a minute, Prinzi overtook me. What do you mean? Oh, biddies. Oh, I got you. <laughs> Please don't have another bits war. I'm I'm begging. So then, Tetchan no Rishi. Choi to Amari da to Mutta no yo. I got some jelly beans. I like jelly beans. God damn it. I do like jelly beans. Thank you for the, thank you for the love and support, Golden. I didn't even think my five buddies would give me first spot. Listen, Golden's just competitive. <laughs> Golden's like nobody beats me. Today,五本で済むけど、すぐにバイバイゲームになっちゃうでしょ。そしたらあんたたち。すぐに逆立ちしても払えなくなっちゃうわよ。でね、私あんたたちにいい話があんの。てっちゃん、悪いけどあんたちょっと席を外してちょうだい。しょうがねえな。The man left the table with a grin and headed for the bathroom. He was far too amendable to that request, as if they'd planned for him to leave that table at the very moment. Ritsuko made sure he was in the bathroom, then took some papers out of her bag and spread them on the table. Oh? だからね、てっちゃんの利子は今日きっちり払っちゃいなさい。そうすればあんたたちはとりあえずあいつとは縁を切れるわけなんだから。そりゃそうですけど。I found that old oblivion character. He was Sigmund. <laughs> the Chad. <laughs> でも。50万なんてこれ以上もう払えないっす。まあそうよね。200万だって相当精一杯集めたんでしょ。さらに50万も工面できる当てなんてないでしょ。They must have done their very best to collect even the money they brought today. So, it must be impossible for them to collect even a dime from anybody now. They hung their heads and told her that. The guys looked at the paper on the table and muttered under their breaths. If I was, well... If I was well, F F. What does F F mean? I'd keep a sugar baby femboy. <laughs> if I have monies, oh okay. <laughs> not, not a bad idea, Princey. Not a bad idea. <laughs> I might do the same. <clears throat> Anyways, we all know I like Fempers. Pass, get past it. <laughs> I delivered the all it. What? I delivered the all it with him, then left the world to die. Make him wear a collar. 
担保も連帯もいらないんでちょいと利率はあれだけどこれなら即50万積んでくれるわよ。それにさあこの利率でもてっちゃんの利率よりははるかにマシだと思うんだけどどう思うかしら Would be easy for anyone to guess what Ritsuko was trying to force them to do. これにサインしたのを見せれば彼も男気を感じて勘弁してくれると思うわね<laughs> my, my brain has one alive brain cell. That motherfucker working his hardest. <laughs> You're a good soldier. They read the small print on the documents and were stunned by the outrageous interest rate. Ritsuko didn't force them to do anything. She just looked out the window and smoked her cigarette. After a while, the man returned from the bathroom. Oh, I'm not sure I'd see that. The brain cells are overrated. <laughs> <laughs> Exhibit A. They looked at him, stilled themselves, and took the pen. He is working hard. I play Yu Gi Oh! that she was. That shit's hard to understand. He's on overtime. t e t c h a n no Rishi, Shakin de Ikkat Hensai Sirte. Oh, Kanshin no Wako to Dane. Otoko a s e o m o n a n a k a g a n e They must have planned this from the very beginning. The man and Ritsuko got what they wanted and grinned at each other. There were many things to fill out on the documents, and it was taking them a long time. The man and Ritsuko, already knowing that, started talking amongst themselves. Ritsuko, how are you doing with the man and Ritsuko? Hmm? 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 どうなんよだいぶ銭持っとんと聞かされてるんどのぐらい絞れそうなんようーん God damn Prinzi really nailed this on the head <laughs> そうそうそれがさすっごいのよ別れた奥さんがだいぶ慰謝料をくれたらしいってのは聞いてたのよでもねそれが本当にすっげえあるらしいのよねかなりってどのくらいね銀行に五千万くらい持ってるわよ Is this Raina's point of view? How does she know about the documents and why hasn't she been caught? I feel like Raina's not here to see this unfortunately I, It's not the lilac text so I think this is just a narrator point of view It's hard to say But th this is in the coffee shop, and Reyna just said she was going into the coffee shop. So I feel like she is seeing this, but maybe she isn't. Who knows? にだいぶお熱みたいだからねだって私が言えば何でも買うのよ何でもあんたみたいなドケチとは大違いよね What a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> oh man I... <laughs> man That stinks. <laughs> uh, why couldn't she just be best girl? <laughs>
私も本気になっちゃおうかしら抜かせポゲ。俺以上の男が他にいるかいいよいいよマンもうこんなところでよしてよもう What do you mean? Me? What, what is it, Prinzi? Now I'm confused. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I, what, what, what is it? Golden, what do you. Oh, oh, yeah.、Um, he's talking about the 50 million yen. でそのひなみざの旦那にどう持っていくつもりなんよあんたを出しに手切れ金がいるって方向で持っていくつもりなのよなんぼふっかけるつもりねそりゃもう会計頼むね。Man pat them on their shoulders and then walked to the door. Another person was just about to enter and they nearly ran into each other. Oh shit, is this Reina? Did. Oh, so Reina just missed out on that whole conversation, didn't she? The man probably wouldn't make way for the person considering his personality. But when he noticed who that person was, he stepped aside. It, never mind! The person looked as vulgar as all the other men. He was wearing a black suit with sunglasses on. He wasn't that big, but his star. Not that big! Bro, he is like twice his height! <laughs> Hosts slash hostess tend to be super popular in Japan. And、it's kind of hard to win them over since they have so many people swooning over them. True, true. It was clear at a glance that he was a gangster, and a professional one at that. The man who was behaving badly earlier looked a little nervous in front of him. As Ritsuko finished paying the check, she noticed the man in the suit. Ah, so she h i n d Domo. おはようございます。The man in the suit said nothing. He just raised his chin as if saying fuck off. <laughs> Chad Kasai as usual. Ritsuko and the others bowed to him and left the shop in a hurry. There's this famous murder about a hostess that killed her on and off host boyfriend because she was afraid of losing it. God damn. That is, uh. Sheesh. <laughs> hey! Don't throw a brick at Kasai. Kasai is a Chad, man. What are you talking about, Golden? Who could he have been? He appeared sedate compared to the other men. But he must be dangerous because he made even them step aside. Everybody in the shop thought the same thing and tried not to look at him. They called her the IRL Yonder. Oh, that woman. Oh, yeah. Oh, I know who you're talking about. The man in the suit looked around and found the menu on the wall. The proprietor walked up to him hesitantly. Master. はい
何か部長法がございましたでしょうかこの日替わりデザートのス,ス,イスイートなんとかというのは今日はやっているのかはあ<笑>いえ本当は今日はやってないんですがそのどうしてもとおっしゃるんでしたら特別にご用意を無理なら無理と言ってくれればいい。He likes sweets, adorable. I don't know. Yeah, Prinzy. This was、uh, Prinzy, I don't know if you remember, but this is Xion's bodyguard in the last chapter. Kasai, my man's a Chad. Are you kidding me? Macarons are great. d e n o s u Oh, well, speak of the devil and she shall appear. Literally. Xion is a devil. Pest girl, god damn it, Cold. Cocomatic to meet Tomonai. The girls seemed to be the only one who couldn't read the heavy atmosphere in the shop, and she came in laughing cheerfully. It was Mion Sonozaki's twin sister, Shion. <laughs> Shion, no, you're not allowed in Mochi's stream. Didn't you get the email? Awkward. <laughs> true, true. <laughs> Shion pushed Kasai into the store while he hesitated. She looked at a girl who was sitting down and stepped in her stopped in her tracks. What? Yapari soda. Oh. oh no! She's been here the whole time! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Big ooh! <laughs> Rena be dumb as fuck. <laughs> oh no, Rena. Oh no, Rena. Oh, she jump. Flee. <laughs> こんなとこで会うなんてびっくりです。シゴマークリナ。<笑>あれ？お一人？ひょっとして誰かと待ち合わせ？お姉かな？いやいや、ひょっとしてケイちゃんかな？あのシーちゃん、mm, She's not in the mood, シオン。She's really not in the mood. その連れの人はん ?That's the Chad, カサイ。カサイのこと<笑> ?That's my man, my man. まあ、私のボディーガードとか思っといてください。命の危険が迫ったら、カサイが守ってくれるんだよねそれがお望みでしたら命に変えてでもシェーうわー Throw suction d a r t aside and stick to his nose God damn it カサイあと20も若かったらやばいかもだね God damn it <笑><笑>顔は怖いけど面白いやつですこちらはねリュウグウレナさんリュウ I ate stream and art today maybe my next meal should be god damn it frenzy <laughs> throw suction dart at Kasai that stick to his forehead hard target to miss stop dissing Kasai <laughs> 
お姉のお友達葛西ですよろしく Chad he got that big forehead though big head for big brain true true <laughs> えっと。I mean, he's not wrong, but damn. <laughs> Shion seemed to know who was who he was. Now,、ah. Shion seemed to know who he was once she heard the name Hojo. Uh oh. Oh no, Reina. <laughs> Mamiya Dina. She's even got mommy in her name. No. I'm hurting, man. Genjina that I'm going to say. Tashka, let's go to the name of 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 the n Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Raina's ready for war. <laughs> She's ready to go. Dina san to Sono Hojo san wa do you hito tachi nan d e s k Stop. Just calm down. Don't do it. <laughs> to temo naka ga yosa so ni mie mashita. No, Kisai. Don't say it. Don't say it, Kisai, please. <laughs> ウジョは確かリナとは深い仲かと。タチノアルイレンチューデスノデ、カカワリアイニナラレナイオガイトモイマス。Yo, Chad, Chad Kasai, though. They're bad people. どうタチガワルインデスカ Uh oh, oh no, Reina. Reina, don't do it. No, Reina. <laughs> Reina pressed him for the answer, and Kasai seemed to back down a little from that pressure. Wait, what did she ask? I missed it. She, this is awful, man. First, her mom cheats on her dad, and now Reina plays him. Yeah. Uh, Golden, she was basically saying, um, how bad are they? There you go. <laughs> Kasai's like, come on, man. Like, I, what do you want me to say? <laughs> They're terrible people. <laughs> okay, Reina. Reina. Just, just calm down. <laughs> Reina kept asking the same question until she got an answer. She on sensed how desperate Reina was and cut into the conversation. Kasai? Ijival Shinai de Oshietagina Sayo. Kyo mi hoi de Kite Ruake Janasa so das, sir. Ne, Nena, sir. It was tension developing between Reina and Kasai. Xion seemed to be the only one who couldn't read the mood. Kasai finally opened his mouth. どんな<笑>あいつらの詐欺ってのはまあ何
結婚詐欺ってやつですかうんうん要するに男の人に言い寄っていい感じになったところで相棒の男が乱入して俺の女に何しやがるって金を巻き上げる古典的恐喝ですさんざん貢がされた挙句根こそぎ巻き上げようっていうクズどもです最近でかい相手を引っ掛けたらしいと噂になっています。じゃあ、そりゃあどちら様か存じないけど気の毒なことで。Oh, no. でもまあ、鼻の下を伸ばした代償なわけだし。Don't say it in front of Raina, bro. 自業自得 Everyone is dumb. <laughs> I guess he gets what he deserves. No! So, no, you can't have a name on this. Raina's about to go on a killing spree. Otoko a tokini, Korotto on Nani Damasare Jima Mondesio. Oh, Raina's gone! <laughs> I don't bring Kasai into this. Master, I don't bring Kasai into this. 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 Bro, if Raina murks Serena, I called it. You really did, honestly. <laughs> Good shit on that, Prinzy. Smart Prinzy. God damn, man. Oh no! Oh no! No, 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 no! When I got home, the door was locked. I used my key to get in and I found a note in the living room. Something's come up, so I have to go. I'm going to eat out tonight, is what the note said. Oh no! This wasn't the first time he'd done something like this. Each time he only told me he had to go to Okinomiya for something. But I knew the real reason, because I heard him talking on the phone once. Rina san must have had some free time between jobs and asked him out to have dinner. I heaved a sigh, looked at the new living room I hated, and went to my room. I thought back over what I just heard at the coffee house. I tried to rationalize the meaning of her actions there. Maybe she had to pretend to be a bad person because she was being threatened by the man. True. That could, al that could always be a possibility. But, even after the man she called Taechan. Left the table, she continued to threaten the guys and push them into signing the loan contract immediately. If she was threatened to play along with the man, she wouldn't have done that. If she was pretending to be a bad person, she could have shown a little bit of mercy or sympathy when he left her alone with them. It's like holding water in a bowl you made with your hands. No matter how sturdy you made the bowl, water would leak from your fingers. Mercy and sympathy leak out from you. But nothing, not even a drop of water, leaked from Rina san. Her hands weren't even moist. Moist. <laughs> They were all dried up. There was no water that could leak through those hands. Rina san was threatening those guys as much as the man was. Neither was leading the other along. They were doing it together. That was it. Rina san is a bad person. My brain cells accepted the idea with applause. After all, I always hated Rina san. I just couldn't accept the feeling because my father liked her. 
See, Mochi, I'm not the Sundari Prince. Yes. You're all Sundaris. <laughs> but at that moment, I could finally accept it. She's a bad person, just like my mother. She's an existence that will ruin everything and destroy my father's happiness just by being with him. But I wonder if my father would understand that Rina-san is a bad person if I told him so. My father likes her so much that he would jump over a cliff if she asked him to. He thinks everything she does or says is great, and he interprets everything about her in a positive way. He protects her and praises her without asking him to. Without her asking him to. I'm not a kid anymore. I understand how a woman can tame a man. It's different from love. Love is about trying to build a relationship. Taming is just a way of satisfying the lust to dominate. She's just trying to make him into her slave. Women can deceive men. Even my father. This, it's not a one-way street. Shitty people can deceive innocent people. <laughs> How about that? It's not like a, a woman can deceive... Like, men can also deceive women. It's, it's not like women are this grand evil. <laughs> Calm down, Reyna. <laughs> they can use dirty methods to ensnare men like they're following a manual. It's the weak point all men are born with. Even with a strong will, they can't resist it. That's why we hate those women who exploit that weak point to deceive men. That's why I couldn't bring myself to like Rina-san. I mean, Reina is a kid who has witnessed multiple women deceive her father whom she loves, so it's true from her viewpoint. Yeah. Yeah. For the sake of argument, let's assume I acknowledged an unreciprocated love like that. But that would only be as long as it was love. If it wasn't love, it was just a method to threaten and squeeze money out of him. I would never forgive her. I remember their conversation at the coffee house. Rina san said that my father is a big spender. In fact, I think he spends more money without hesitation than before he met Rina san, Rina -san. I was happy that he started to regain an interest in going out into the world again. But now I don't know whether I should be happy or not. Reality has reinforced thus flawed thinking of hers. Yeah. Yeah. It's a shitty part. He controls the money of the Ryugu family overall, but since I do the grocery shopping, he often gives me his bank moat so that I can bank book so I can withdraw money. Because of that, I know where he keeps his bank book, his personal seal, and other important stuff. They're in one of his drawers, which he usually locks. I mean, at the end of the day, she's... She is just trying to look out for her father, but... Uh, she's going down a bad path, man. I know where he hides the key, and I know the combination of the cash box inside the drawer. He might be coming back soon, so I felt a little nervous. But I had to make sure. I opened the cash box, which had some bank books, personal seals, stamps, and unused postcards. I removed everything from the cash box to get at the bank books. Then, I found something new. On the bottom of the box, there was a bundle of new 10,000 yen bills. Oh no. Its thickness wasn't something I could ignore. There was also a paper wrapper that looked like it had been bundling the bills. The wrapper had a stamp that said it was a bundle of a million yen. He usually kept some cash at home because it was troublesome to go to the bank every time he needed money. But he was usually around 100,000 to 200,000 yen at most. He's never kept such a big amount of money at home before because he knows it's unsafe. The extraordinary amount of 10,000 yen bills was abnormally intimidating. I tried to open the bank book, but my fingers got numb all of a sudden. A part of me was trying to deny the things I heard at the coffee house. It wasn't because I wanted to defend my father or even Rina-san. It was because I didn't want to believe my father was the husband in Hinimizawa. 
the blackmailers were talking about. I opened the bank book. The last time I saw it was oh, saw it was about two or three months ago. It shows countless withdrawals since that day. I probably wouldn't normally understand what those numbers meant. But I felt in that moment as if the ten different digits were speaking to me. They were a series of cruel digits. It starts with some understandable expenses that I assume represent dinners or something. But then the amount of money starts to become nice round numbers, like a 5 or a 10. I can tell by looking at the dates he withdrew money that he wanted to have a certain amount of cash on hand when he went out with Rena-san. Among those expenses, a big number appeared all of a sudden. It was too much money to spend on a date. Hundreds of thousands of yen. I looked at the date of the withdrawal and I traced it back in my memory. I remembered. Around that time, Rina-san was talking about moving into a new apartment. Yep. I know the market rate of rental apartments in Okinomiya. You need to put down two safety deposits and two payments of key money in order to rent an apartment. That amount of withdrawal sounded reasonable now. I paid the whole down payment for a new apartment. Yep. After that, Big numbers appeared, one after another. I could tell they were congratulatory gifts for a new apartment or something. Red background, everything's fine, truly. The numbers got bigger and bigger. It looked like at first he was withdrawing only amount of money he needed. But then he started withdrawing big amounts all at once because he knew he was going to use it someday anyway. But the change meant only one thing. He lost his sense of the value of money. The balance kept going down and down. I started feeling anxious about what's going to happen if he continued to spend money like that. But then, I saw a deposit of a big amount of money into the account. Where did that money come from? There was only one thing I could think of. I opened the other bank book. It was easy. Like a puzzle for kids. It was like playing with an easy jigsaw puzzle that comes with huge pieces that you don't even have to put together to see the whole picture looks like. My father was using money from his time deposits. In other words, the settlement my mother paid my father when she divorced him. To him, it's cursed money. I'd understand if he wanted to use it to get a new love, but... That was just an excuse to use the money from his time deposits. Money is money. Even though it's his divorce alimony, it's still important money for our future. Even though it's cursed money to him, that doesn't mean he can waste it. Big expenses start appearing one after another. There are many expenses, upwards of six digits. For some reason, I could immediately tell they were for buying ele electric appliances and furniture. He must have been buying everything she asked him to. If, from the beginning, Rina-san was only seeing to check if he could end up being a big catch, she must have been trying to find out how much money she could squeeze out of him. And my father bought her anything she wanted, no matter how expensive it was. So she probably thinks of him as the perfect catch now. The numbers in the bank book told me so. The simple numbers and dates on the bank book had started talking to me. Around the time, he started withdrawing big amounts of money. Rina's son started coming to the house more often, and she also started spending the night. To Rina's son, my father was at first just a guy who spends big money. But around that time, she landed her big catch. My father used to refer to her as my friend in Okinomiya at first, but he started referring to her as Rika-san around that time. Rina-san, sorry. This is partially his fault. But he was betrayed by his beloved wife. And he was feeling hurt and down for a long time. You can see why Ark confused Rina and Rina's mom. They're both fucked. They both fucked over her dad. Yeah. 
Yeah, definitely understandable now. It's also partially my fault. Raina, in what what fucking way is this your fault? <laughs> That's why I didn't want to blame him. And he's not that good looking either. Damn. <laughs> Damn, Raina. You ain't gotta you ain't gotta roast your dad like that, man. That was rough. There's no way he's immune to women. He must have not been able to resist an attractive lady who aggressively approached him when he was feeling down. He's crazy about Rena's son, and he can see nothing other than her. I can't blame him, because Rena's son trained him to be that way. I put the bank books and the other things back into the cash box. This cash box is just like my father's heart. Rena san is eating up the contents. What should I do? Think, Rena. Should I tell him about Rena san's scheme? If you do that, he, he won't believe you. Straight up. He, he's just gonna tune it out and be like, la 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 la. <laughs> no, that probably wouldn't do anything. The whole point of taming an animal is that it won't run away from its owner, even when the door is wide open. My father probably won't leave his cage even if I opened up the door. Should I confront Rena san about her plot when he's with her? The results would be the same. Rena san would run behind his back. He'd probably try to protect her. If she pressed her breast against his back, he'd pro he'd protect her no matter what. I mean. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> <laughs> let me stop, let me stop. <laughs> Go on, Moose. <laughs> no, I'm going good. I couldn't make this a problem between me and him. Spit it out, no. First of all, I was trying to get rid of Rena, Rena san for his sake. If we got mad at each other, it would give the advantage to Rena san. It'd be like I was putting myself into a trap. Then that meant I couldn't make him do anything. If I couldn't make him break up with Rena san, I'd have to go talk to Rena san directly. So instead of making my father fight, I'd have to fight in this place. But how? That guy, Kasai san, who was with Shichan today, seemed to know the man Rena san was with. I wonder if I can somehow meet him again. Too bad she didn't have a phone to film everything. Yeah. He looks scary, but I, had, I was introduced to him as a friend of Michan. Michan has a lot of power around here. There's no way he would treat me badly. I wondered if he could tell Rinasan and the man to back off from my father. That'd help me a lot. I didn't know how I could meet him again. I could ask Michon for help, but I don't want her to know about my situation. This is a problem of the Ryugu family. This is nobody's business but mine. Yeah, this is a battle I'd have to fight alone. I regretted my parents' divorce. I wept about the tragedy I could have prevented if I had tried. I wasn't going to weep this time. I wasn't going to let the chance slip away. This time, I would fight for my happiness. I don't know about this method, Reyna. <laughs> I feel like you're gonna kill somebody. <laughs> and I don't know about that. <laughs> oh, oh, my back. Let's see. Yeah, exactly. Abby Stabby Moat. Property Estimate. Dear Ritsuko Mamiya-sama. Executive Housing Corporation. Attached Estimate. We thank you for your past visits and inquiries to our office. We've included the estimate for the property you inquired about. Basic Information. 
property name Palace of Versailles. V Versailles? I think I said that right. Room 707. Property code 14M1421. Property type Modern Condominium. Layout 2LDK. Yo, Palace of Versailles? Fancy. <laughs> Versailles, Versailles, Versailles. Yeah. <laughs> Address: Shishibon City, Kowaicho, to Chon. Transportation: XXX Line, Gogura Station, five minutes on foot. The I is silent from what I remember. Gotcha. Cost: forty-nine million. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Gee, that's all that guy's money! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Can I has Reina's Papa's number? <laughs> Cost forty nine million eight hundred thousand yen. Maintenance fee twenty thousand yen. Me too. Wait, what? <laughs> Other southeast corner room, elevator floor. Condominium fitness club membership included. Thank you for your interest in this property. The area around Gogura Station is a prime real estate zone for luxury condominiums, along with future planned developments. The real estate values in and around the Gogura Station are expected to rise, and this property is not an exception. As a result, many prospective buyers are interested in this property. Hence, we'd like for you to understand that the selection process for this property will be done via lottery. Also. We also offer celebrity member preferential treatment, granting highly improved chances through additional lottery entries. Please feel free to inquire with our agents for more details. Executive Housing Corporation Celebrity Account Manager, Kawabata <sighs> That's rough, buddy. <laughs> She is clean in his house, man. She is... Ah, dang, man. I don't even... <laughs> it's just rough, man. It's literally just... just that's rough, buddy. <laughs> so you gotta get lucky in the lottery to get the house? I guess. For that amount of money, you can... Make me dress as whatever. <laughs> I guess, like... Well, if that's the case, then you'd just be wasting money if you didn't even get the house. That would be, like... The greatest scam of all time. <laughs> but anyways, we... We, we are going to raid Ark. <laughs> Thank y'all for, um... Staying with me and chatting and uh, hanging out with me. Uh, I hope you all have a good day. Make sure you show Ark lots of love. Show him the good old mochi support and all that good stuff. But I'll see you all later. Have a good day. And bye-bye. Uh, Hello there, Raiders. Welcome in.